Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me for the week of Christmas. This is how the week before looked. I used some faux boxes from Vintage, Gypsy Road and I absolutely love how it turned out. Y'all really seem to love that plan with me as well because it got well over 200 views I think so that's crazy so thank you so so much. This week I'm using a kit from Brandy Shop called Classic Christmas. I got the faux boxes and the assorted boxes and I just pulled in everything else from my collection. So yes, let's just get started by, as usual, putting down the full boxes at the bottom. The patterns of these full boxes are absolutely stunning and although the colours are a lot muted than they thought they would be, I still really like them and I like the mutated look that it gives because all of my Christmas spreads so far have been really bright, either pastel or bright, so I like this muted effect that this kit has. So I'm really excited to use something different for this week of Christmas, my last planner spread. No, my last spread in this planner, sorry. <laughs> Now I'm using some glitter headers from Nightingale Paper Co. from her fine glitter header bundle. I'm using the gold, the green and the red. Since this is going to take a little while, I thought I would talk about my plans for January basically. I have filmed all of my midweek videos for January so far. So I'm going to have all of those up every single Wednesday. Let me know if you have a particular time that you want to see videos at. They'll be up on Wednesday, but I mean a particular time like 9 a.m., 2 p.m., I don't know, let me know. I've also filmed another plan with me for the upcoming week, the first week of the new year. I'm not doing a plan as they go for that one, just because since it's a new planner, I kind of want to see how I'm going to plan. I don't think I'm going to change it, but I don't know. I'm just going to pre-plan what I've already pre-planned and that video is going to go up tomorrow. If you're watching this on Monday, New Year's Day, oh happy new year by the way, if you're watching it on this day, it's going to be going up tomorrow so let's check back in then and you'll see how I'm pre-planning for next year. But yes, I'm really excited about that. Now I'm moving on to putting down my weekend banner. This one is from Peace on My Design and I'm putting it in the second box, like the afternoon box at the bottom. So yes, I really, really like how that looks. I've been really liking putting my weekend banners down there recently. I've done that quite a bit and I'm doing it next week as well. So I really like that. Now I'm moving on to my sidebar. I put down my last weekly sticker from Luscious Labels on the pre-printed page flag. As you saw, the sheet is completely empty now, which is just crazy to me. Yeah. So I put that down. Then I put down two habit trackers from Brandy Shop, not from the kit, but just from her random her standalone sticker sheets or whatever then I forgot to do headers for it so I set them up and I put down these skinny labels from Nico Hutch design to separate them and I had to work on spacing so the first one is for my this week section with the habit trackers and the second section is for my happy meal On Christmas morning, I spent the whole oh, morning <laughs> filming, editing and uploading last week's plan with me video. So I just put them in a red half box and layered on top some, oh no, I used a green half box I think. And layered on top some film, edit and upload scripts 
from Planner Choco to mark that I did that video. Like I said, you already seem to like that video, so thank you so much for all your support on that. I really enjoyed it as well. That's definitely one of my favorite spreads in my planner so far. Well, not so far because this is the last spread, but that is definitely one of my favorite planner spreads. After that video was uploaded and stuff like that, I watched a Christmas movie called Christmas Getaway that is such a good movie. It's a Hallmark movie and I really enjoy Hallmark Christmas movies. That television sticker is from Lily Pink Prints but her shop is closed right now. To mark Christmas lunch at my grandmother's house, I used a half box from the kit and layered on top a dinner plate sticker from Mr and Mrs Mint to mark that Christmas dinner which was really delicious. Usually we have all the family over, like all of my mother's side, no all of my mother's mother's side, so my grandmother's side, but for the past couple of years it had just been in my immediate household, my grandmother's household and then my cousins, and it has still been really nice. I put down these two asterisks from Nicole Hutch Design to mark two more Christmas movies that I watched while I was at her house. It was snowed in Christmas and the flight before Christmas I believe. I barely watched a flight before Christmas because I didn't really like how it ate. Well, I didn't watch it from the beginning but I didn't like how it was going. So yeah, I just kind of watched my own thing while that was going on. But I liked Snow Day Christmas a lot, that was really good. On Monday night, my sister's boyfriend's family came over for um, Christmas supper, I guess. So yeah, I put down a tomato soup sticker from Mr and Mrs Mint on top of a half box. On Tuesday when I was planning, I didn't really like how there were three half boxes on one day. So I just decided to take up that half box on Monday morning and just put on the stickers by itself or by themselves to mark that I filmed, edited and uploaded that Plan With Me video. Tuesday was Boxing Day, but I didn't actually mark it I don't think. But I used this penguin washing the dishes sticker that is from Student Planning to mark that I wash some dishes. I used a planner from Nightingale Paper Co to mark that I planned this week. As in, I planned. Wait, I planned this week? Yeah. I didn't plan beforehand, so everything on Monday was memory planned. Well, this whole planner, when I do plan a Ziggo video, it is all memory planned, unless I pre plan first, like you saw it in my last video. So yeah, I started planning this week on. Tuesday so I use that planner to mark the YouTube session I use a telephone sticker or cell phone sticker from Lily Pink Prints to mark that I worked on my Spanish SBA research that day as well I used an oval sticker from Catastrophe Design Studios that shop is no longer open but I got them from a friend Diane planned with Diane and I layered on top a notepad and pencil sticker from Nicole Hutch Design to mark that I tidied up my bedroom and probably my desk, I put these two dots from Deco Hutch Design as well. I have been loving these dots recently. I think I have three more in my cart to check out because I use them for everything. To mark that I planned my next day's schedule, I used a speech bubble sticker from Plan and Choco. Now I fill in my side for a bit. What I mean by plan tomorrow's schedule, basically I wanted to do my task by time. So I set alarms on my phone and all that for doing certain tasks and most of them are school related, school related so I just did that on Tuesday night. Like I said on Wednesday I had a scheduled day so at first I put down this alarm clock sticker from Pan and Roses but eventually I took it up and put it on top of a half box. Not too sure why but I just did. Oh, there was a lot of white space on the top of Monday and Tuesday. So I wanted to kind of balance that out, so I put it on a half box from the kit and just wrote in schedule, scheduled day. And under that I just put some little dots from Nicole Hutch Design to mark everything or some things that I did. I'm sorry that you can kind of see my hair poking in on the left side. Really sorry about that, but yeah. <music> Now 
While I was working on my art piece, I was watching Scorpion. I watched two, three, or four of the episodes from season four because I didn't, I wasn't fully caught up yet. So I did that. I had cuckoo for lunch and it was delicious. So I put down a crock pot sticker from Student Planning over a label from the kit, a quarter box. I put that down because it was so good. After I ate lunch, I put down another dot, and two more dots to mark some more stuff that I got done. Can't exactly remember, but I know after that I watched Hidden Figures again and it was amazing. So I put down another television sticker from Lily Pink Prints. So this is what this week is looking like so far, the midweek. Now flipping over to the second half, I just moved the iPad so you can see better without that black thing on the side. But now moving on to the second half, on Thursday I had driving lessons, so I put down this car sticker from Hummingbird Planner to mark my driving lessons. After that I put down a dot, or two dots, to mark some stuff that I had to get done that morning after lessons as well. I tidied my bedroom on Tuesday, I tidied my bedroom on Wednesday, and I tidied it again on Thursday. I still had to tidy it this morning, so yeah. Um, I put on a blow dryer sticker from Sassy Sticker Co. She's also no longer open over a label. Tomorrow it was wash day. I shampooed, conditioned, deep conditioned for the first time in so long. And I know naturals are supposed to deep condition a lot, people with natural hair, but I just never do it because I never have the time. Well, I always have the time, but I just never feel like doing it, and I never feel like I have the time, so yeah. And I also cut it. If you follow me on my personal Instagram, it's CourtneyAlana underscore if you're interested. But you'll see that I cut my hair, and I did a wash and go and stuff. It was really nice. And that night, I watched some YouTube videos, and I did some, I caught up on some podcasts. So I put on a telephone sticker from Brandy Shop. On Friday, I caught up on planning. I planned Wednesday to Friday morning. So I put on this planning time sticker from Student Planning. I got those on clearance. All the scripts with icons were on clearance, so I picked those up. I didn't like where I wrote it. It was kind of off-centered, so I layered it on a half box. Also, if I'm out of breath, which I am, if I sung out of breath, I just ran up the stairs. Yeah, I had breakfast and stuff, and I ran straight back upstairs, so you know why. Okay. After filming, I took some hair pictures because like I said, I cut my hair on Thursday and I like to post pictures of my hair on my personal Instagram, so I took some pictures. That camera is from Kitty Cat Co. I got some Happy Meal that day and I was going to mark it, but I ended up not marking it. But that family time sticker is from Sassy Sticker Co. Also not open anymore. Lily Pink Print is also not open anymore, so yeah. That camera, I mean that phone is somewhere that I experimented with editing. I watched some videos. I edit on my phone in case you didn't know. So I asked if you'd like to see a video on that. I mean, I don't really do anything special, so that doesn't really require a video. But anyway, on Friday evening, I went to watch the sunset with my family at the beach and it was really nice. At 7 that same night, I had to go to practice for a play that I was in the next day. So I put on this speech bubble sticker from Planner Choco and the music note is from Student Planning like usual. On Saturday morning, I put on this sandwich sticker to mark that I had family breakfast. I had communion that Saturday, so I put on this wine glass sticker from Very Cute Designs. That is from a sticker book that I got when I won a giveaway from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. So yeah, I just marked on that. That wine glass is really cute though. I'll be into kawaii stickers. I don't ever buy them, but when I use them, I always really like them. I put on this cutlery sticker from Student Planning to the mark that we had fellowship lunch. After that, I marked that we had a way with a quarter box. And that's where we did the skate. It was actually really, really good. It was the second person, but the first one to go up, if that makes sense. We did a train scene and it was really, really fun. Um, that night, my, my sister's boyfriend's family came over and we had dinner. So I put on another steak dinner sticker from Mr. and Mrs. Mint to mark that. That was actually really, really fun. We talked, we ate, it was great. 
and there were tons of leftovers too so the next day the food was amazing <laughs> i actually forgot that we had a choir practice on saturday evening so i moved on the quarter box and put a music note from student planning in there and it took me so long to get it straight even like how i left it is not straight so i have to fix that but yeah i had a choir practice in between lunch and away on sunday morning i caught up on planning this week so I put a camera from Kitty Cat Coors again, same camera from Friday. I also planned next week in my new Erin Conjure planner. So I put down a planner sticker, not too sure where that's from, but it's glittery and there's a little pen next to it. I also put down this art palette sticker to mark that, oh that is from Sassy Sticker Co. to mark that I started a second art piece. This phone is from Brandy Shop, I use that to mark that I binged some YouTube videos and I just caught up on others. This New Year's Eve sticker is from Oh Hello Stationery Co. and I layered that over a quarter box to mark that I went to sundown, ser sundown service at my church again. So sorry that you can see my head peeking out. I know it's probably very very annoying so I'm sorry about that. My friends and I had planned to go out for all year's night but transportation was an issue so our plans were just cancelled and stuff like that but I got the chance to deep clean my desk, shelves and drawers and that was one of my favourite all year's nights actually because I got so much stuff done. So that cleaning sticker is from Mr and Mrs Mint. Now I'm just filling in everything and my sidebar stuff like that. Thank you so so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely leave a comment down below Let me know what is your favourite part. Also let me know what is your favourite part about the holiday season. Mine would be either movies or like the food. I really like Christmas food. So yeah, that is the last part for this planner. So excited about that. And I'm also kind of sad. But anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.